Good morning, guys. <coughs> oh, man, that uh, scratched my throat there <laughs> a little bit. Excuse me on that one. But, yeah, good morning again. We have now left Black River Falls, Wisconsin. We're back at it again, back on the road. And it is a beautiful sunny morning this morning. We got 152 miles to do to our delivery up there in the Minneapolis area. It's kind of on the northwest of Minneapolis area, so uh, so yeah, we'll make our way down that way and uh, should be there about quarter to 11, I'm thinking about that. And then uh, we'll make our delivery and we'll see what kind of reload we will get. I still have not gotten any reload at this point, but uh, that's not to say that we won't get one, right? I would be nice if I could pick up right around that area and just pick up a preloaded trailer and go home, right? That would be ideal, man. I would really love that. And uh, we'll see. We'll find out, I guess, right? I mean, I looked at my hours and I still have 20 hours for the week. I thought I was a little lower than what I'm actually at, but I guess I did good with my hours this week. And uh, yes, I still do enjoy my e-log, electronic log. Yes, indeed I do. Somebody asked the other day when I was talking about my uh, ACI, what that meant. And uh, I wanted to explain it a little bit instead of writing it down in the uh, in the comments there. And uh, what it really is, it's an electronic uh, manifest, basically, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for the border crossing. That's all it really is. I don't know the exact abbreviations for it, but but that's what they call it, and. Uh, so that's exactly what I call it then too, right? I ain't gonna make up any names for it. <laughs> and so yeah, we uh, we gotta f uh, fill that out and send that into our dispatch to uh, send that off to the broker and then they send it off to the border. And once all that has been accepted, then uh, we get a message here saying we're good to cross, right? Well, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I wish I had a little bit of uh, time this morning. I would have flown my drone, but we were up fairly late last night to get our truck fixed and all that, right? So we had to uh, sleep a little bit longer because I like to sleep my eight hours. I didn't quite get eight hours today or this last night, but we got seven and a half. That's not too bad, right? So, yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, continue on with our journey here today. I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking out to see what we're up to today. Yeah, looks like Minnesota is open again today. Oh, well. Yeah, it's fine by me. I already went over another scale and they let me go. So I obviously ain't overweight or anything like that. So, and if they want to see me, that's fine by me too. I don't care. Yeah, we'll have to have to see what kind of sign they will give me they got errors up here to see all right they're giving Keep me the a right. bypass lane so that's kind of what i was thinking they were gonna do Play station ahead. looks like they got quite a few trucks out there on the In scale right now miles. Keep to the left on probably busy looking at them guys right now so they'll probably let us swing by here yeah they got two uh Oh, one doesn't look like an oversight, the other one is. Feet. Keep to the left on I-94. Oh, yeah. We got a couple of trucks out there, a couple of trucks in the back there, it looks like. They're getting inspected. Yeah, it looks like two big trucks and a pickup truck with the trailer there in the back there, so. I guess they're busy looking at them, guys. So we Continue are only on 36 miles, miles away from, uh, from our, our delivery. So we should be there right on time. I think we should be there even at 10.30. If nothing goes wrong. And so it looks like a little after 10.30 we might be there, so. Awesome! Alrighty guys, we have just gotten our load off. Now we 
are making our way to our reload. We got a reload as we were sitting there waiting to uh, get unloaded. And it was only 10 miles away from where... Uh, Speed limit reduced ahead. From where I delivered, so that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's going to be a preloaded trailer too. That's from what it looks like. We got to go towards... Uh, downtown Minneapolis a little bit, but hey, that's all right. In one We're mile, only right on. about a mile Avenue. away the from there, so uh, let's go in there and find out if it's just a trailer switch or what it is, so we'll see you guys in a few. I have just finished doing my trailer miles. switch. To the left yes, on indeed. West, west. That was pretty good. Got us a reload as soon as we were empty. We got a preloaded trailer. Man, you can't ask for anything better than that, right? Load is ready to go. I send all my paperwork off to the dispatch. Now all that's been taken care of. Now all that's left to do is drive, right? That's right, buddy. That's right. That's all that's left to do. Hammer down and make our way towards Winnipeg. Yes, indeed. So, we're going to hope for the best that they will clear our border crossing ASAP. Because it's only about, I think, six hours to the border, maybe six and a half. Because, uh, yeah, I think it's about six because... Uh, I know it's 730 or 40 kilometers or something like that up to Winnipeg, so, uh, so and I know it's about an hour and a half from the border to Winnipeg, so I'm thinking that uh, I should be uh, able to get to Winnipeg by, by 8.30, I'm thinking I should be in Winnipeg, 8.30, 9 o'clock, so that means I'll be... Uh, I'll be able to go out on Sunday again because this is just a trailer drop in Winnipeg. So then I can bobtail back home. Don't need to be on duty anymore or anything like that. So, uh, for eight miles. so yeah, let's make our way home, sweet home, guys. We have now entered North Dakota already a little while ago. And uh, we're only about 188 miles away from uh, our delivery in Winnipeg. I called up the customer, let him know that I was going to be there tonight. Yes, indeed. Looks like I got a spot there on the windshield. We're going to try and clean it off of there. But yeah, that's uh, looking good. We'll be in uh, Winnipeg here tonight. And drop our trailer. trailer. And then, uh, as long as it's closer than 75 kilometers, we can... Uh, we can bobtail home. So that's what we're gonna do as soon as we uh, drop our trailer. We're gonna find out to see how far it is to get home. And then uh, we'll go personal use if we can, right? That's the plan anyways. And we're just gonna do a reset and go again. So our plan is to leave on, uh, on Sunday again. I'll be good. Next weekend is Eastern, so by the time you watch this video, it'll be uh, around Eastern time, I guess. I haven't made any plans to make it home for then, but uh, hey, if I leave Sunday, it's a good possibility they'll have me home for then, right? You might, they might, and then again, they might not, right? Because they uh, may need to some drivers to be out here on the road to hold some valuable loads for them and that might be me who knows right and they know I don't mind running the weekends and I have no plans really for next weekend although my dad would like us to come over and he'd like to have a barbecue with us for Eastern but that we can do at any time right yeah I think so anyways but that sun is starting to disappear a little bit on us. It's starting to get a little cloudy again. I was hoping we'll get some nice sunshine, but there is a small chance for rain tomorrow, they said. 
for Manitoba at least that is all right guys let's see if we got a picky guy here in Manitoba scale today in 300 meters yeah. swipe left on King Street and then make a U-turn if possible stop in 50 meters over the scale right let's see let's see if they got anything to say today So far, so good. Man, that plate is loose. <laughs> Just go nice and slow. Looks good so far. Alrighty, I just keep saying next axle, so I guess we're good to go then. Alright then, we'll get out of here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, we just crossed the border here in Man into Manitoba. So we're on the home stretch now basically. In 200 meters. Slide left on. All we Kate gotta Street, do is and then uh, make a U-turn if possible in 50 meters. Make our delivery in Winnipeg, right? That's all we got left to do. And we still have beautiful, beautiful sunshine today. I appreciate that very much. It is a little windy, however, but it's coming out of the south, so it's kind of pushing us. So we're actually getting really good fuel mileage. That we always like, right? As you guys can see, I have made it home, sweet home. It's actually the next morning. We had a good night's sleep. I got home, what, quarter after 10 last night? Yeah. So, we finished uh, our day and I figured, well, it's time to finish our vlog, right? Yes, indeed it is. So, let's see what we're up to tomorrow. I appreciate you guys watching my vlog today. So stick around for tomorrow and see what we're up to.